Hello everyone. In this video we are going to list out the important alloys with compositions and uses. What is an alloy? Alloys are metallic compounds made up of one metal and one or more metal or non-metal elements. An alloy is a metallic intimately mixed solid mixture of two or more different elements, at least one of which is metal. In molten state alloys are homogeneous and in solid state they may be homogeneous or heterogeneous. Alloy plays a very important role in our daily life. In fact without using an alloy one day is also not past. Utensils in the kitchen, vehicles, mobile phones etc. are various alloys which are being used and made by human. Even most of the machinery tools and engineering equipments are made up of alloys. First alloy is amalgam. It is mercury-based alloy and silver, tin and copper as the main alloying elements. The composition of amalgam is 45 to 55 percent is mercury, 22 to 32 percent is silver, 12 to 30 percent is tin and 12 to 24 percent is copper. It is used in older dental fillings and mining. Second in the list is brass. It is copper-based alloy and zinc is the main alloying element. The composition of brass is 65 to 90 percent is copper and 10 to 35 percent is zinc. It is used in decoration, plumbing and instruments. Third in the list is bronze. It is copper-based alloy and tin is the main alloying element. Other alloying elements are arsenic, aluminum, manganese, silicon, nickel and zinc. The composition of bronze is 78 to 95 percent is copper and 5 to 22 percent is tin. It is used in instruments, guitar strings and medals. Next is cast iron. It is iron-based alloy and carbon and silicon is the main alloying element. The composition of cast iron is 96 to 98 percent is iron and 2.1 to 4.3 percent is carbon. It is used in metal structures, bridges and household utensils. Next is cupronickel. It is copper-based alloy and nickel is the main alloying element. Other alloying elements are manganese and iron. The composition of cupronickel is 70 to 90 percent is copper and 10 to 30 percent is nickel. It is used in coinage, marine engineering. Next is green gold also known as electrum. It is gold-based alloy and silver is the main alloying element. Other alloying element is copper. The composition of green gold is 75 percent is gold and 6 to 25 percent is silver. It is used in core of Nobel Prize medals. Next is magnolium. It is aluminum-based alloy and magnesium is the main alloying element. Other alloying elements are copper, nickel and tin. The composition of magnolium is 50 to 95 percent is aluminum and 5 to 50 percent is magnesium. It is used in aircrafts and car parts, fireworks. Next is misc metal. It is cerium-based alloy and lanthanum and neodymium is the main alloying element. The composition of misc metal is 55% cerium, 25% lanthanum and 15-18% to neodymium. It is used in cigarette slighter flints. Next is nichrome. It is nickel-based alloy and chromium is the main alloying element. Other alloying elements are iron, manganese and silicon. The composition of nichrome is 60 to 80 percent nickel and 15 to 20 percent chromium. It is used in electric heaters, foam cutters. Next is Nordic gold. It is copper-based alloy and aluminum, zinc and tin are the main alloying element. The composition of Nordic gold are 89 percent copper, 5 percent aluminum, 5 percent zinc and 1 percent tin. It is used in making euro coins. Next is pewter. It is tin-based alloy and copper is the main alloying element. Other alloying elements are antimony and bismuth. The composition of pewter are 85 to 99 percent tin. It is used in making decorative plates and vases. Next is solder. It is tin-based alloy and copper and silver are the main alloying elements. The composition of solder are 90 percent tin, 5 percent silver and 5 percent copper. It is used in joining electrical components. Next is steel. It is iron-based alloy and carbon, chromium, manganese, vanadium and molybdenum are the main alloying elements. The composition of steel are 50 to 99 percent iron, 0.1 to 2.1 percent carbon. It is used in structures, cutlery, car bodies and rails. Next is sterling silver. It is silver-based alloy and copper, platinum, germanium and zinc are the alloying elements. 
the composition of sterling silver is 92.5% silver. It is used in cutlery, jewelry and musical instruments. Next is white gold. It is gold-based alloy and palladium, nickel and zinc are the main alloying elements. The composition of white gold is 75% gold, 10% palladium, 10% nickel and 5% zinc. It is used in jewelry.